At the Danish Cultural Institute's EU office here in Brussels, we work on giving advice to Danish cultural operators, people working in the creative sector in Denmark, on how to build a European project. That entails finding EU funding, partnerships and building networks. We also offer study tours for people wanting to come to Brussels to learn more about all the possibilities that there are in working internationally. We cooperate closely with the EU institutions, the hundreds of European culture networks, but also with the regional offices in Denmark that have representation here in Brussels. At the oplagt for us at henvise kulturaktører i vores land til kulturinstituttet, som efterfølgende holder os opdateret på hvilke aktioner der er taget i forhold til eventuelle samarbejder, eventuelle programudvikling. And how do we get our knowledge? Well, we attend meetings, seminars, conferences, we do research, and we're also um, part of many important European networks. Uh, one of the most important networks is the European Network of Cultural Institutes called UNIC. Uh, but we also work directly with uh, some of the very big uh, cultural institutes like the Goethe Institute, the European Culture Foundation and the British Council. That Brussels is the centre of power in, in Europe and for the first time in my life I went to Brussels to, to talk with the people from the Danish Cultural Institute, yeah, there. We were in the street and suddenly there was a demonstration of, of uh, refugees, both refugees from Africa. And they were standing up for their rights there and I said, oh, well. And out of, out of all the things happened, suddenly we got the idea to bring uh, refugees and uh, decision makers on the sta stage at the same time. The majority of cultural institutes in Munich and working in Brussels are associated with nation branding, that is they do cultural diplomacy. They are still engaged in promoting their language and their history and their traditions and culture. And that's okay. However, we want to move beyond nation branding. If we want to genuinely promote trust and understanding with peoples around the world, nation branding is not going to do that for us. We have to move into an area called cultural relations, which is about people-to-people -people relations, working in and with civil societies. Now, the Danish Cultural Institute is moving in that direction, is occupying that space, and it's probably the only small cultural institute doing that. I hope that over the next few years, that alliance of a radically different type of cultural institute, which is the Danish Cultural Institute, with the big guys, can make a real difference to the debate and the practice around culture and EU external relations. When working internationally, you get new inspiration, new insights, new knowledge, uh, you increase your networks, you get new and different resources to your organisation, and you become more creative. You're very welcome to contact us and you're also very welcome to come and visit us.